All right, students, Brian Proctor back again with another video. I'm back again. I never really went anywhere. But I, today I'm finishing my 30-day drawing challenge. If you were with me or if you have, this is your first time seeing this video, 30 days ago I decided to challenge myself to draw something every day and upload it. Well, I succeeded for 27 days and then life kind of jumped in the way and tripped me up and grabbed me and tried to pull me back. But I succeeded. And this is the very final drawing from the 30 day drawing channel so if you stay with me for 30 days thank you very much and uh hopefully if you guys are new and you saw the stuff and started to like it please subscribe i have to look over here at my monitor to make sure i'm still in focus so yeah let's get on with the video thank you again for seeing it even if you're looking at this one thank you and this is my little tight t-shirt my t-shirt design me and my friend for those people who've been out of the gym for a minute yeah, you like that. Yeah. That's on my t-shirt channel. I have a channel. I have a channel. I have a store where I do t-shirt designs as well. So yeah, use your talent to do as much as you can. Don't settle for just one thing. Do as many things as you can. All right, so let's get on with the video. All right, here we are on day 30. Actually, just the picture 30. It wasn't, you know, 30 days consistent. I try to do 30 days consistent, but I think I got 27 days consistent. And so anyway, we're not gonna talk harp on that. So day 30. So I started out doing a female and I'm gonna do another female to end it off. So let's get started. Shoulders, head, I'm gonna do wings on this female. So the wings are actually gonna come off the paper because if I did the wings, the, the character would be too small. So let's just start out like this and then we're going to go down get the body i want the legs on so the body's not going to be that that um big giving it a little curve and this has got to be the bottom where the bottom triangle is the base has to be curving it around a little bit so i'm going to cut this right here and here for the delts to go This is going to be the center right here, and I'm going to bring this in maybe a little bit more in. The slimmer you, the thinner you make your triangle, the slimmer the character is, is, is. So, well, let's put this one leg up just because. And the one thing I wanted to do with this 30 days is find out where I was really weak at and I found out so I need to do a lot more faces and a lot more hands and I said I'm going to do like a hundred hands um, not on camera just just do a hundred hands so that I can um, improve and also faces because faces and hands are what tell the story so the knees here Foot has got to be back here. So the foot is going to be a little behind unless I put it in the front or as in make that make that leg come around. So like the knee will be right here. And I was thinking a lot of things that I was going to I was going to say, and you know, dang if I didn't forget what I was going to say. So yeah, I'll just keep drawing until I can remember what I was going to say. What I was going to say. All right, that hip is here. Why am I bringing that hip way down here somewhere? So yeah, after this, I'm going to get back into teaching because. A couple of people wanted me to ask me to show them a couple of things like special effects, doing effects. So I'm working on that. I'm working on that in my head. I've got it in my head. I just have to get it down on paper. I tried to pull up some um, images to show you guys to make it a little better, but I know a lot of them are um, copywritten. The ones that I've looked at, it said, you know, might might be copywritten. So I don't know if you can actually use that in a video. 
Uh, somebody give me a comment and let me know. If, if so, I'll use it, but I don't want, you know, this, that would be, this might be the video that hits like a million uh, views and then all those people with those copywritten uh, photos like, oh, oh, you, oh, you didn't get my permission. Oh, I'm going to sue you for a million dollars. So yeah, I don't want that to happen. So if anybody knows about the whole copywritten thing for using just images off Google in a video, then yeah, let me know. And if so, then I'll go ahead and if I can use them, I'll use them. If not, you just have to trust my drawing, you know, drawings, my drawing that that is what this particular thing looks like. So is that too tall for me? It is now that I put that line there. Because the head is going to be about that size, the neck, and the shoulders. So center line, center neck. And when somebody asks, asks me to do armor, how do you do armor? And I'll answer that question now. A lot of it depends on um, what type of armor are you talking about? Are you talking about medieval armor? Are you talking about high tech armor? Are you talking about the Iron Man whole body armor or just little armor plates or whatever? So, um, when people ask things like that, it's kind of hard for me to do when well, I got all this room over here. That's okay. Keep on, keep on. It's kind of hard for me to kind of figure out what you want. So I have to kind of draw the best that I can with what information you may have, you may give me. And I'm going to start drawing more women because, um, yeah, the only reason I don't do a lot of women is because YouTube and their uh, their little thing that they got going on. Because I got demonetized for a video that's been out there for a while. And that's just me comparing um, this and the female. Watch me get demonetized on this. This and the female together. I just did a comparison. And I guess maybe some little kid was watching it and their mom saw it and they were like, oh no. So they wrote in, it's like, you know, this, this, is, this is not child friendly or whatever. And it's basically, it was just a, um, it was a, uh, I don't want to say comparison. It was a review of uh, these dummies, dummies, these, these um, figures. So yeah, you know, something simple like that. I can see if it was like a, a real, you know, a photo or something like that, but it was, you know, it's a, it's a model. So, yeah, so that's the big thing right now. I don't want to get demonetized, but I'm going to do more women because, yeah, I don't do a lot of women. I don't do a lot of women. I don't draw a lot of women. So I'm looking at this, and in my head, it was coming out a little better. Let's straighten this leg out. And this eraser is like not doing good. So let's bring this leg in more. You hanging on camera? That might be out too far the wrong way. Oh, and um, somebody asked me about reference stuff a while back, and it's just it's good to do if if you have reference, it's best to do, do find reference, whatever kind of reference you want to you know you want that you want or you might need. It's best to do that, especially like um, real life references of people, you know, doing whatever, you know, just kind of like go on, um, uh, just Google it. Like if you want somebody, you know, sh shooting a gun or holding a sword, go and look at some of these pictures of people like sword fighting or, 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 or whatever, archery practice, if you bow and arrow, just, you know, find what you can, because there's not many positions left in the world. I mean, you think about how many comic books companies there are out there, you know, um, big time and independent. 
and you think about how many comic books there are and you think about how many comic book characters there are you know they're, they're all basically doing the same pose just tweaked a little bit you know a punch is a punch and a, and a stand is a stand and a blast is a blast but you know if you could try to you know change the angle of something just a little bit and that's why i did the 360 pose position book so that I, uh, people can you know see a particular pose and maybe change it up a little bit so that's why i did the angles and the next one i'm going to do i plan on doing the 360 female and the female with different pose or the poses different poses from different angles same pose different angles multiple poses from different angles as i said she's going to have wings but it should have been shifted here and yeah i told you the wings were going to come off the paper should have been curved like that and we're gonna put it foot in there get this head right I could have her like look up a little bit give that a shot get the head right again And someone asked me about these pencils, and I sent them a uh, link to get these pencils. And these are just some red checking pencils, and I'm looking for the box because I bought some blue ones as well. Um, and the blue ones are the, you, it's just it's non-photocopy. The red is supposed to be non-photocopy as well. If you photocopy on black and white, if you copy it on black and white, not on color. If you photo it, photocopy on black and white images that shouldn't come out you shouldn't see it especially the blue and remind me and I'll, I'll dig up the box right now I just didn't 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 get up I'm trying not to use the light because I'm trying not to use the light, but I'm going to have to use the light. So I'm going to dress this character, but she's going to be in skin tights. Skin tights? Tights, I believe, because again, I'm going to use another one of my characters from my uh, coloring book. Because it's easy to do and it shows you guys how to put clothes on these figures that I draw. You can take the same drawing and then put your character on that. Someone also asked me to do a Robin. I think it was a Robin or a Tim one of those Robin characters and I'm thinking, you know what? People like those things and so maybe I'll do a few few um, already existing characters. We'll see. I said I don't want to. I want to do mine and I'm flipping through my book trying to find a picture of this girl. But we will see. Because like everybody else and their brother is doing um, already existing characters. This particular character right here. And I was going to say something. It really doesn't make a difference the uniform that the person has on. The uniform could be tight and the story sucks. But if you have a great story and a guy could be wearing a jeans and t-shirt, you know, you still love the character. Because you have to have a good story, a good reason for that person to exist. Like if... Um, Galactus gave somebody his powers, uh, some powers to do something, and the guy reneged and he ran away, and Galactus was after him. He'd be like, "Yeah, that's a good story." You know, this guy got these powers from Galactus, and you know, he he, he lied to Galactus, so now he's on the run. So, 
the guy could be having some jeans or some shorts and a t-shirt on, you know, but he still got semi-galactic powers. It's, it's, it, you would be like, ah, oh, see what this guy does. You don't tune in just because he's got a, a, a nice costume or you don't spend money just because he got a nice costume. I mean, it helps, yes, but that's not the purpose. What? Yeah, so you don't have to, like, beat yourself up because your costume is not the greatest thing you've ever seen. It's just the story goes with it. Now, if you're just designing characters, and those characters really have no story because you're just designing them, yeah, that's a different story. You might want to have some cool-looking uh, costumes. So he's going to go right there. Head is a little too small, a little too small, but you don't want it too big. The bigger the head, the smaller the body is. So for women, you don't really, you want bigger heads and slimmer bodies. For men, you want big bodies and little heads. That gives them that um, look, that um, superhero look. And I did a video. No, I saw a video with my chair. I heard, I kept hearing my chair, and I'm like, okay, I gotta have to buy a new chair because this thing is just squeaking like crazy. So this one is out, this one comes in, this one's going to come in more, and this one's going to come in even more. Bends down, and then there is the palm. And there, there, and the other one, and you have that part of the palm, and then you have the thumb coming across there. So if I pencil that... I should ink it, but I, I don't, I'm, I'm going to make sure it's right. This one's going to come out more. So you can see that. Let's try this one. Okay. Got to get my light. Let's put it high above so it won't really disturb you. This one comes out. This one is down. This one kind of goes in, and this one kind of goes in as, mo as much, as much, as well. This is going to stop here. This knuckle is going to come out. This is going to go, this first finger is going to go behind that knuckle. Knuckle here and knuckle there. Come in, curve in. There's the palm. You can have some fingers going back if you choose, but most time it's going to get covered by that thumb, and then that palm is right there. Bring that in a little bit. Same thing with this. I'm going to round this off. So this is going to be where's it? The thumb this is going to be the high point. There's that one. Two, three, going down, four. And the thumb is coming here, and you may see a little bit of the palm. So in doing wings, Doing wings is that's a lot of work. That is a lot of work. I bought a statue a long time ago of a, of a, of a I guess it was an angel, female. The, 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 the sculpture was kind of like mediocre, but the wings were excellent, and that's why I bought it. It was like a little cheap statue. I don't say it was cheap. I mean, it wasn't like five hundred dollars or anything like that. But I broke the wings off of the, <laughs> the figure because that's what I wanted was the wings to give me, you know, reference of the wings. And it was just, it, they put a lot of detail in the sculpting of those wings. And I have no idea what happened to them because I kept them for the longest time. I just moved a couple times. So you have this one that's going to go out. And then you have, how is it? It's like, Something like that. It's been, it's been a while since I did wings. You have a small set, a large set, and then you have the big actual wings. Actual big wing feathers. The 
what you have is it is it here it's like a, a small group here and then there's another second group here and then you have like i said the long the long ones it's been a while since I've, I've done it i've actually tried to draw realistic wings anyway i don't know if it starts here if it starts at the end of the big this big wing joint here i don't know second and let's just do this Just because to that point i have to figure out these i have to figure out these because that's like the uh, the, the high point but that's a um that's the main point of the main view of the um picture the wings all right so let's switch colors let's bust out my blue pencil and see what that does let me find it okay these are the red pencils here and if i can remember i'll put a link to it on amazon I don't want to say they're like seven dollars or something like that. Anywhere between five and I don't even think twelve dollars. But uh, there's twelve pencils inside. They're just basically checking pencils your teacher would use. That's a nice picture. It's almost like 3D up there. And then I saw these blue ones because I do have a blue pencil with blue lead, and I'll use that sometimes because. As you see, I have all this, and now it's time to put some clothes on it. So I'm going to switch colors so I can see what the clothes are. And this is this. And as I say, if I can remember, I will um, leave a link. So as I open it up, it's kind of like a pencil review here. The bad thing about these things is that these erasers do not last very long. So it comes with a bit of a point already. They're already sharpened. So as I say, this these erasers don't last long. So let me do this costume here. And this was just, just a generic kind of thing that I did uh, for my coloring book. This big turtleneck on. It drops down. The costume is skin tight and she has an emblem on it. I don't know what the emblem is. I just did it. Might be somebody's emblem in real life or you know i don't know i just just did it just to to make it more comic booky and now you see the true value of having two or three colors so if i needed another color i would use the lead regular lead So she's got wristbands. Everybody in my universe has wristbands. She's got like thicker wristbands. Be more like a cloth, I guess. As I said, these are generic characters and um, they have no story except for a couple of them. I think one of them was one of my actual characters from another book that I was working on a long time ago. And uh, another one turned out to be the Eye of the Beholder, which I did show you some of those pages, you know, um, several videos back. And her boots kind of like going like that. So you wouldn't see that. You would see this. How would that would go down like this going around? So that's it for her costume, no mask or anything like that. And then her face, standard female face. Something else you could use work on. As I said, the faces, my, some of my faces are weak. Some, 
I draw better, bigger faces. When you try to draw detail in something so small, it just, it loses a lot. So, it was wrong light. You don't want to stay up. I, mean, I guess I need to invest in a really, really good drawing light, too. I'm trying to screw the, tighten up the little screw so it'll stay up in the air. Okay, so, I'm going to leave my chin here. Chin comes up, follow that. That's where the eye is. The nose is here. Center eye, so the ear, so the eye is going to be right here. And as I said, I'm going to come up with some way. I said before in another video, I'm going to come up with some way to surefire draw a face and have it right every time. I haven't figured it out. Somebody might have that. Um, I don't. Somebody might have that technique to allow you to do that, but as I said, I don't I don't have it. I don't know it yet. I haven't really had a reason to, to do it until now, but I will figure something out. And when I do, I will show you guys the nose comes up and the eye is going to be right here. It is a female, so one end will go on the line and the other end will not. And what I mean by that is I have no paper to show you. I'm trying to find some paper. Piece of paper, piece of scratch drawing paper. You do a face, here's your face. Here's your eye for your line for your eye. Here's your line for your nose. Cut that on in a minute. And here's your mouth line. If you do a man, it would be like this. One corner of the eye and the other corner of the eye is going to fit on that line. That's how that's how I do a man. I don't know. Maybe the, real, the whole world does that. But this is how I figured it out. For me, if I do a woman, let's get one line. Just one line. If I do a woman, one side of the eye is going to be right here. One point, one corner. The other corner is going to go up above that line to give her that slanted kind of pointy eyes for a woman. So if I did the other side, it would be that way. It's going to be crooked because it's always crooked for me. So you have those kind of like cat pointy eyes, whereas a man would be, like I said, this is the line a man's eye is going to be on the line like that. Female, one is on, one is off. One is on, one is off. It might not be up that high because, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, look like a witch or anything like that. But yeah, this is how I did my females. She looks angry. So, but the more, the smaller the picture, like the less detail you want to put into it, a face, you just want your standard, you just your basics, basic lines for the female, like the turned up nose, give her like the anime turned up nose and maybe one nostril or something. And then her mouth, which could be open. But of course, this is a really small, face and this is why I say I need more practice on the face so right off the bat this mouth is coming down here and this chin is way over here so things like that you got to look out for and that's why I drew those guidelines that I just totally did not use Again, if I center that, her nose would be here. So just use a shadow for that nose. That mouth would be here in between these lines, coming out a little bit. And remember that face is curved. That mouth would be curved. So I'm not even gonna open the mouth. It's just it's just so small. It's just too small. And the second I ink it is the second it's gonna screw up. Now I'm dropping this chin down just a little bit. 
still making it curve around, but you'll still see the bottom. Dip in, comes out for the jawbone, comes in. Maybe give it a point. Wait till I try to ink this little tiny thing. I sort of screw up and I get frustrated. Mouth comes around, and the this comes up to the to the cut. What do you say? For those who don't know, is your mouth. Now, if you, this line here, this is where your your chin turns at and goes more at an up angle. Just think of a puppet that I can't draw that. Think of a puppet that mouth whose mouth. The joints in the mouth come all the way across and open and close right there. I don't know. Kind of look like Patrick upside down in a mask. So, yeah, just remember that, that wherever that's where your chin opens and closes, hinges at. I think that might have been the word I was trying to use. And her ear is going to be up more. And give her a little smaller head. And what kind of hair does she have? She has those bangs that's blowing in the wind. And for those people who want to draw hair, you what kind of hairstyle? The best thing I can say about hair is look up in a magazine. Look up in a hairstyle magazine or online if you don't have the magazines. And then see which style suits your character or suits your taste or whatever she's got short hair it's going to be blowing because she is flying so hair is just basically the shape it's not it's not this or this or this it's basically the shape what shape hair do you want to have so and if you like anime um, or, or dolls, dolls, if you get like dolls, anime dolls, whatever, each hair, each piece of hair is like in a section. So it'll give you like, this is number one, put number two like right here beside it, number three goes over here. So just try to think of shapes, what you do, but I'll, I'll get my overall shapes first. I won't try to string it out like this. I'll get my overall shape. I'll say this, maybe this, here, there. So each one of these are actual pieces. Then this is the top of the head. I'll say it's going to come off this top of the head this much with that little center piece right here. It's going to come down. And I like, I like to have a full head of hair. So you're just getting the shape first. I'm going to say it's going to go down here, maybe like that, like that. So that's, that's my hair. So then I'll, I'll do like maybe some pieces like this is going to stop here and go back here. And some parts going to go back here. Maybe a piece is going to go there. Maybe a piece will come down, string piece come down. Then I might throw a couple lines in. Not too many. And then you have, you know, your quick way to do hair. And if you want to get all detail about it, like right here with this piece and this piece meets, you kind of like makes it makes that make it darker. And when this piece and this piece meets, make you have one overlapping another one, and it <sighs> and it will leave a shadow, like this piece and this piece. I have a little shadow here, and in between some of the strands, you can have more shadow there. But <clears throat> play with it. Why? What's what's with my voice? Play with it, and then. You, you'll get it out. You'll get it. You'll get it out. You will be able to get it. I don't know why I'm doing this. I should be working on my drawing. And then eyelashes. I'll do one like one whole thick piece of eyelash. I don't try to, to do this like that. You know, never happens. Now, with this one piece, I might do another little piece here and another piece here. But that's it. I, you know, especially, unless it's a really large eye like if i did an eye like this big yeah then i will i will do the eyelashes i do you have to do that second lip at the bottom your lashes come out of that little 
fold. If you don't know, you don't know. And then the other ones come from underneath, like underneath here. And then there's a, a little fold that folds out. And on the end, your bottom lash just comes out from there. Yeah, but I, that's only if I had to do a big eye, a really big eye. So this is gonna be fun, as I said, inking that face. I'm gonna find out about the wind. So let me ink just a little bit. And I gotta stop that habit. I always do that when I, I started that habit now. My SX, super tiny. And, and if I keep saying I'm gonna mess up the face and that's what's gonna happen, because I'm telling my brain, oh, you're gonna mess that face up. You're gonna mess it up. And so my brain is like, okay, I gotta mess it up. But if I say things like, oh, it's gonna come out perfect, it's gonna come out perfect, then it's gonna come out perfect. Taking one at a time. I don't I don't always pull your pen. Always pull it. Pull it. Never push it. Don't don't push it. Pull it. And with something, I'll always just a little piece at a time, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. So if I was inking this, I would be like this. That's why I turn my page. I am envious of people who can do a whole picture without turning their page. Just do it a little bit at a time because if you try and you mess up, then you know your whole picture screwed up. Unless you've got white out and you're that type of person who can just use a lot of white out and so forth. Like this one eye is a little bigger than the other, but that's okay. I can. I can stop rolling. That's a pet peeve of mine. Pencils rolling. I can go in a little bit and have that part be more eyelash. I I um eyelash, yeah, like that. So with this nose, I give her the just a shadow for the nose, which is kind of low. Looks like it's bleeding into her mouth. I don't know why. And then I'll just have to drop the mouth a little bit under that so it won't bleed into that because I erase so much. I'm thinking that mouth is crooked because I draw sideways. I draw, if you you ever didn't ever notice that, now you notice. I don't draw straight like this. I don't even write straight like this. I have to turn my paper. So because I turn my paper, when I do a line, the line is always crooked. It's always a crooked line. So one eye is going to be here and the other eye is going to be there. When I turn it up, it's like, oh, the eyes are crooked. So this nose did come down and bleed into the mouth. I don't know why this pen is kind of bleeding itself anyway for you it might look like a mustache yeah so yeah and then let's just do the rest of the face neck that face is too small for this neck and I'm just seeing that it's too high and it's too small for this neck hmm if I could Photoshop it and bring it down I know my friend would be like I told you to get a tablet you could bring it down my god that is a high neck and I'm trying to find some way to cover this up I told you I was going to mess it up. What I can do is lift up that turtleneck. And I'm telling you, it's Friday, you know. I had a good Friday right up until the end of it when crap started happening. And just screwed up my Friday. Just really screwed up my Friday. So having a bad drawing on a Friday is not really going to help. So now we'll lift these shoulders up. So try to camouflage that. 
Might work. Let's give it give it a go. Day 30. Screwed up the picture. Where's the chest? Since I'm not a professional inker, I will continue to turn my paper. And when I do a fast motion, that's all you see is that. So yeah, sorry. I still have to find something for these wings. Something for these wings, a reference. I have plenty of references. I just have to look it up in the laptop. Since the face is done, let's go ahead and cut that off. Black that. And when you do female legs, try to keep it smooth. Don't don't try to make it bumpy like you would do a male leg. This connects here, comes down here, under here. Whenever I rush my drawings, it kind of screws up somewhere, and it just, to me, that just, it, that nothing really pisses me off than to screw up a drawing when you know that you're better than that. But stuff happens sometimes, so, you know, you just have to bite the bullet and say, well, it just wasn't a drawing day for me. This was just not a good drawing day. Tomorrow will be better. So there's nothing, what is it? The one comes over here, the one comes down here. And you won't see that. Yes, you will. This. Live drawing, I think that's what I was saying. I'm, I'm going to start doing more live not live, life, life drawings. So that I can get much better. I can probably say that that foot came, that leg came out a little short. Should have been back. That foot should have been behind her, but okay, let's just let's just go with it because it's Friday. And the more I mess up, the more I'm considering just throwing it away and starting again. Day 30. No one should be stressed on a Friday. Unless your wife is in the delivery room delivering. Sitting here staring at this, trying to remember exactly how to draw again, Brian. It's 
not devastatingly bad. It's not Marvel and DC good, but 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 what? Lines show, showing the direction of the hair. Hopefully you can see that without being blinded by this light that I have to use. I just have to use it. I mean, I could black this out, but I think I, what I'm going to plan on doing is coloring all of these things so I can get used to coloring again. I don't even want to mess with this leg anymore. Let's do some wings. All right, as I was finding some wing references, uh, I came back and I kind of added just a little bit to the nose and just a little bit to the eye. But as I say, when you have something so small, you just use as little detail as possible. But I didn't like that, just that pointy shadow nose. So I added a nostril and I curved the nose a little bit, but yeah. So I'm gonna do these wings in fast motion because that's gonna be a lot of drawing. So yeah, let's get into the fast motion. Oh, and I figured out it's like, you have this little, this little hard cartilage piece of wing here, then you have your feathers, the first set of feathers that comes out and they curve around like that. Then you have, well, you have these right here. There's like these round set here. And then you have a second set like here. And then you have your long ones coming out after that. So it's like, it comes in, I like different wings for different birds. So I'm gonna do like these kind of gold, I think gold, gold wings, gold, gold. Anyway, yeah. Fast motion. Alright, so there you have it, guys. Day 30. It was a bit of a challenge, but uh, we got it done. I put some clouds in there to throw her up in the air, so I just didn't want her to have, you know, blank space. So with the wings open, so what else is she going to do but fly? So that is it for that 30-day challenge. Did I complete it? I did 30 drawings, but did I, did I do it every day? Fail. 
but that's okay. It's done. And as I said, the, the, the whole reason that I was doing this was for me to get off my tail and start doing more drawings per day. Cause I'll, I'll usually do like a drawing out of probably about five days out of seven. So yeah, I just been getting lazy and I haven't been doing my comics or anything like that. So I wanted to do this and then, you know, to pinpoint my weaknesses, like hands, faces, um, definitely inking, you know, um, if I took my time, I could ink, but I'm not an inker by far, you know, so I'll hire an inker one day. But anyway, I'm going to ramble because that's what I do. So this is the end of day 30. I'm going to get this up tonight and yeah, you'll be seeing it. So if you stuck with me for 30 days and you started drawing along, bless you. You, you'll, you'll be a better artist for doing it. So my next video is going to be more on the teaching realm and I'm going to do some more detailed stuff, but it's going to be not in one day. It's going to be several days, but compacted into one video and I'm rambling. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you and 30 days drawing challenge is over. See you in the next video.